In this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get started on Tee Public. It's another print-on-demand shop like Redbubble is. I'm going to tell you the differences between it, how much you can make on it, what kind of things sell there, everything you need to get started. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005 and my channel's all about helping you to learn how to design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you wanna learn how to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. So in this video, it's all about Tee Public. It's definitely one of my top three print on demand sites. You can see up here, Redbubble, Merch by Amazon, Tee Public. How do you do that? That one right there. Um, so there's some differences between Tee Public and Redbubble, but don't sleep on Tee Public. I made more on Tee Public in December than I did on Redbubble, and I have just a little bit less designs on there. So I'm going to teach you what I know about Tee Public, why I think it's definitely in the top three for me, and what kinds of things sell there. I'm going to go on there and show you step by step on how to upload things, and what kinds of things sell there, how many uploads you can make, and just give you all the things you need to know to get started. You can get started right away. You don't have to wait. It's kind of like Redbubble. You can sign up and start uploading stuff right away. I'm gonna show you what kinds of sizes you're gonna need and all the products that they have. They have a ton of products and a lot of cool things that other print on demand shops don't do. So stay tuned to this. We're just gonna get into Tee Public. I'm gonna go into the internet right now and show you everything I know about it. So here I am on Tee Public. You can see teepublic.com. That's how you get there. You might want to bookmark that. Um, you can see the things that they sell here mostly are apparels, number one. So let me just click on these. T-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, crew necks, um, baseball shirts, all those. Same thing for the kids. Masks, they sell masks. Home goods, you can see all these things. A lot like Redbubble and cases, phone cases, stickers, and magnets. So they have a lot of products, but they're mainly apparel or t-shirts why that's the name t public right that's how they started selling t-shirts it started in 2013 and then redbubble bought it in 2018 and now redbubble owns it but it still works the same way that it did back in the day so i don't think redbubble made that many changes they they have something good here that's a little different so they stick with that one of the things i like is they tell you what the top sellers are right here and if you scroll down you know, they're always changing this dashboard so you can see what's current and they have editors pick. So you can see the types of things that the editors think are selling and the things that are selling nice hand drawn things, right? You can see a lot of artwork, not a lot of words. There are some graphics with words here, um, but not a lot. You can see mainly designs, mainly hand drawn or photography or kind of a mix of both kind of mashups of, of things, right? mashups of colors, mashups of, you know, there's a hat and a frog and things like that. So they do a lot of uh, pop culture as well. We're going to see that, but you can see these are the types of things and you can hit more browse here. And then they have a lot of things here on the bottom that can help you if you're a designer, a lot of things uh, like this, where you can see featured designers and the T public blog and designer guide and things like that, that will help you. I'm going to go look at some of the FAQs just so to answer some of the big facts but you can go in here and um, look at some of that too so first thing i want to do is look at some hot sellers so you can see the types of things that people like to buy on redbubble so these can be sorted by newest or most popular so i'm going to do popular right here and these are the things that are popular on redbubble again hand-drawn things kind of mashup look at this mashup with the tiger and the flamingo you can see more hand-drawn stuff not a lot of tech stuff. So if you're an artist, this is a great place to be. Just original art, kind of mashing things up. You see, here's a pun. Here's kind of more pixel drawings. Lots of different types of artwork, right? Art styles and things. So let's keep a look at this. Here's another mashup of a flamingo and a camper, right? Uh, send nudes, a funny text. Mashup of a Godzilla riding a scooter. So those kinds of things. Uh, it can be more realistic, it can be fantasy, I think a lot of fantasy stuff does well, anime stuff, just all over kind of kawaii stuff does well too, so look at that. So now that we know what kinds of things sell well on TeePublic, let me show you some other things about TeePublic that you might want to know about. So first, let's go to the facts here. I'm going to click on facts and designer facts right here. 
and these will answer a lot of your questions but I'm gonna go into some of the top ones that I think um, the first question you might want to know is when you get started how many designs can I upload at once so I think on Redbubble the limit is 60 on T public it's 50 50 designs per day which is a lot if you can upload 50 designs a day that's great and again they're gonna have to be those kind of style of designs right you're not just uploading text designs you're uploading hand-drawn art design so it's gonna take a little bit longer to get you those kind of designs so the next thing you might want to know about is what are the dimensions that you can use the minimum dimensions here uh, are 1500 by 995 that's the minimum if you're going to use the merch by amazon size which i suggest you use if you're already doing merch by amazon that's going to work for most products but if you want to put it on all products it's 5000 by 5500 again merch by amazon if you just if you don't want to make different sizes that will cover a lot of it and you can see here um, it's going to cover all of these except for the giant tapestry right here these big tapestries if you're just going for t-shirts and uh, some of the smaller things iPhone cases and and stickers and things like that uh, you'll be fine with the merch by Amazon size but if you're only doing tea public I would suggest just put it on all products and do it this size so the next question you might have is how much do you get paid on tea public if you sell an item during a sale it you get less because they drop the prices and this is what uh, this chart will explain everything so when you click here you can see at a regular price for a t-shirt you can make four dollars for a twenty dollar shirt and on a sale they'll drop the price and cut it in half and you only get two dollars now that's not a lot of money but it does get more people to buy your stuff and get your shop um, more visits and so when people come back you know they'll they'll get it at the regular price so this this is the full earnings for everything hoodies you make eight dollars which is really nice um, tank tops still four and you cannot change these prices not like Redbubble these prices are set which is good and bad it's good because everybody's selling at the same price so you don't get people trying to lower the price to get a sale and you're not getting people who are raising the price outrageous so this is T Publix model I think it works really well I get a lot of sales anyway um, four dollars is okay I wish it was more five and six but you know I can't complain still getting a lot of sales and here's a whole list uh, you may not want to know that but I think uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to this earnings site right here but what you need to know is most t-shirts most, most apparel t-shirt size you'll get four and hoodies you get eight and on sale it's half price so it's real easy to create an account all you have to do is go here if you're not signed up hit create account and fill in all of these things and hit create account and it's easy as that so you could also click here designer sign up and this will tell you more about what T Public does how much you earn and easy you can see um, it also shows you the different products we're gonna I'm gonna show you those kinds of things but these are the kind of their top products and what they pay again like I said um, and it's just just that easy so let me sign in with my account and I'll show you what my what a storefront looks like and what you need to do so once you're signed up you can get a storefront and what you would need to do if you want to make sure you want to make sure to do all these things is to um, upload your cover photo make sure you have your icon here fill out everything you need to so that your designs are searchable on T Public. I think a lot of people just upload their products and forget to do their store and icons and things like that and then their stuff doesn't show up when when you search so make sure you do everything you need to make sure you have the banner the icon make your own don't copy these but then the people can come here and look at your stuff right and look at that so um, so before I show you how to upload something let me show you one more thing about T Public, and we'll go we'll just go to all designs here and browse one thing that T Public does here is gives you top tags of things that are selling so these are kind of old I think because you know Black Friday was uh, near Thanksgiving you got Thanksgiving here Squid Game was over a long time ago so um, these aren't really current but uh, I think these still kind of helped to let you know what kinds of things are selling on T Public. you know they, they do a lot of pop culture references and things like that and you can see again a lot more artwork kind of stuff a lot less words but just be careful on T Public not to do things that are copyrighted stay away from Muppets and um, things like that so unless you're doing fan art they do have fan art 
as well. So you can go in here. So just like Redbubble, they do have fan art programs. So these are all of them right here. You just go to uh, current brand partnerships. I'll put a link in the description as well for these. But unless they're part of these right here, don't do any of the other fan art. You can't just put up those kinds of things. Those may get taken down. All right, so now let's upload something. I'm gonna go back to TeePublic and hit upload a design. And I'm gonna grab a design from my desktop and put it on here. So I uploaded my design here and gave myself a title. I'm just using keywords that I want. The main thing you wanna do is make sure that the keywords in your design title match what's on here and make sure you get a main tag. Now this is something different in TeePublic that you have one main tag. And the nice thing about TeePublic is it will tell you if the main tag is better or not than the tags you're using here. Um, and when you type in the tags, it's gonna give you suggestions down here. So you can see retro, yeah, it's retro. Vintage, yep, it's re vintage. Retro wave, perfect. Uh, Japanese, I saw Japanese there. I'm gonna do Japanese. See how it fills it in. So you can use up to 15 tags here. I'm not gonna do all of them, but just put in as many, uh, all 15 tags here. And if it is better, if it will tell you if, um, one of these is, should be the main tag, but that main tag should be your strongest tag. What is somebody gonna be searching for most of the time? And that's that right there. All right, and then does this contain mature content? No, and you can see by default, it just puts it on here and it selects all the colors. Look at all those colors. You could do, if it's a something just for a light t-shirt, you can just hit light and it will just it will just do the light colors. And if it's dark, you can do just the dark colors. You can see black or you could do all. Um, I think mine's gonna do better on dark because of the white text here. So I'm gonna hit dark. And then I'm gonna pick my default color. This is something nice too, that you can pick your default color. I wish Merch by Amazon had that. And you can pick black, I wanna do black. And you can see all of these are black. And then this one, I can do black as well. And you can just do that. So pick all the colors that you want and you can see like a preview of what the colors are as you scroll over here, that's really cool. And then you, here are some other, the other products. So stickers, you can see it automatic hit that black background outside. But if you didn't want that, you could turn that off. But I like it because um, my white text here and then you can size it. If they're not the right size, it kind of sizes it correctly, but if you want to change the size, you can see I can make it bigger or smaller. Let's say I want to make it bigger like that and size it. And pillows, you can see that's a great size. It does a really good job of doing it. So you don't have to move it, but you can. And you can make each of these different colors. If you, if you don't want this black, you could change it to a different color as well. So that's how you do it. And you have to read and uh, agree to all the conditions and then just publish. So I'm gonna publish it here, boom, and there you go. There's my t-shirt here by Detour Shirts and then people can pick the size. And you can see, like I said, it's on sale for the first 72 hours. This is where you can um, send it out, do some posts and say, hey, look at my new t-shirt on TeePublic and people can get it for sale. After 72 hours, it'll go up to that 20 bucks, but for when it sells for that $14, you only get $2 per shirt and then it goes up to uh, $20 per shirt. You can do the hoodie as well. Let's look at the hoodie. Again, uh, the hoodie is $45, which is uh, kind of expensive, or at least more expensive than the Merch by Amazon ones, but you get a good royalty on that one. People still do buy the hoodies and you can see the different colors on the hoodies and things. So nice there. And if it's too big, if it looks too big, you can always go back and, and size it down. So. You can see right here, this is the sale for 72 hours, so fun. So one last thing I wanted to show you, and that is watermark. So if people come in and look at your site, um, I'm looking at my own stuff, but a lot of times if someone comes in and looks at it, you can see these watermarks right here, and that's something you can turn on. This is kind of trying to stop the copycats from taking your design. So if someone comes in here, looks at the black one, you can see that those watermarks right there. For T Public, so it's right here. If you go, if you go to my account and go to Image Security Watermarking, you can turn that on right there instead of having it like this. So that is it for T Public. If you want to learn anything else about T Public, leave that in the comments. Maybe I can do another two, a video two for T Public, and let you more, know about more things T Public.
So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you. If it was, if you learned about Tee Public, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button right there. Before I leave, I wanted to leave with a question of the day. And the question of the day is this, do you have a shop on Tee Public? I wanna know in the comments if you've tried Tee Public, what your thoughts about it. If you're not on Tee Public, let me know. Uh, what you think about this video and if you want to try it now that you know about a little bit more about T Public. So thanks again for watching this video and if you want to see more videos about other things related to print on demand make sure to click on these videos right here and as always guys keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.